Right, hello everybody. Uh, well, as you can see, I've done a bit more on this since, um, at least I don't know if you can see, but I have done more on it since, I, since you last saw it at the end of the last session, because I wanted to get on to what I call the twitching stage, uh, which is where I use a little brush and finick about with various things to get them as right as I want them to be. What I did was to make this a little bit darker here and here, so that the focus of light is here, because uh, we've got this, which is quite bright against the dark, and we've got the two light patches of um, cloud reflecting in the water here. Um, right, uh, I've just scrubbed in a bit of white over there. I'm not particularly happy with it. Um, and uh, this here is a bit a bit calm. I've got to do something with this this area here. I might concentrate on that um, to the detriment of everything else, just to show you what what finicking uh, really is. I've got to do something with those boats, basically. Uh, if you remember, they were bright yellow, well, ochre. Uh, and I've put a bit of blue, uh, purple, very pale purple on top of them. I don't want them to be as strong as that, or well, obviously that, because they will draw the eye, and that gives you two foci rather than one. You want the eye to, to take note of them, but actually go to that, and then you can start to look around the picture. Uh, question of composition. That's the focus. Can you see how that tree is really nicely placed, both in the photograph and in the painting? If it hadn't been there, I would have put it there, because that little point leads up to that, and then it takes your eye over here. And you look at all this, and you come down to the boat, across the water, and back up again. So your eye is making a circular tour of the picture all the time, always coming back to the focus. And that's what composition does. It should let you into the picture. Right. What I'm doing is talking because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> Just to show you it's allowed. Uh, acrylics. So I've wet the brushes, take most of the moisture out. And come on, Steve, you've got to do something. Part of the problem is I haven't really worked out um, which glasses, if any, I need to use to do the painting. Because <laughs> uh, it's just not, not adjusted yet. Anyhow, that is, is not, not right. Um, that's a bit of that. So, um, this is a question of a little brush. And that's, the, I think, the biggest of the little brushes I'm using. So really is finicking. Put a bit of white in it. The beauty of um, um, is that this putting it on this thin um, it's going to dry very quickly so I'll be able to work on top of it quite uh, quite quickly too incidentally these paints have been here since last week so um, you can see how they're still kept moist that was dark wasn't it Too much water in the brush. You get too much water, you don't get any paint. You just get a sort of wash. Sometimes you want that.
When your water is still, you paint in one of two directions. You either paint vertically or you paint horizontally. Um, that way you get you can get a shine on the water. Um, quite nicely. And it's believable, which is always useful. You can paint water every which way. Some people do, but I, I find it works. It's less angst if you do it this way. I'm all for, I'm all for that. Right. Now, I've got to make some kind of sense of what's in here. And at the moment, I can't. Largely because I can't see what's happening. Not really sure what is happening. So, well, um. Uh, I'm getting a dark by mixing uh, burnt sienna with ultramarine, which gives me quite a nice dark. There's, it's quite dark down here. And there are tree trunks. It's quite a big one, and then there's one there. And when you're putting these in, try to remember not to get them equidistant. It's so easy to just bonk them in, equidistant, and you don't want that. And I like to join the bottom of the, the tree, whatever, with the trunk, if at all possible. It just makes it a bit more. I'm wanting a bit more of a point. I'm getting one, but I'm wanting a bit more of a point. So if you roll the brush on the palette, it becomes a bit more pointy. And then you can... Now, that bit is actually water reflected. Water reflected. So the green is permanent green deep, which tells you a lot. That's what the color is. Um, When I'm painting watercolors, I very rarely use green. When I'm painting oils and acrylics, I use green a lot. Aren't I funny? So I wanted a dark green, so I mixed the green with burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is a lovely color for that kind of operation. From where you are, you can't see that those strokes are down, down with. But they, in fact, make a big difference to the, the picture itself. Even though they're not there in the sense of, um, uh, you know, being able to see the distance you are at. In, in this case, they are, in fact, they still seem to have the right effect, is what I'm trying to say. Right. 
that more believable or less believable? Vaguely, vaguely believable. I don't want to define. I don't want to define that too much. Come on, kid, be brave. See, see what I'm all I'm doing is fiddling around with a little brush. I'm deciding if that is what I want. See. Better. It's got a bit more more shape to it. Right. So now I need to look at those boats because they are definitely not boats at the moment. Right. So I'm going for a purple. Um. I could go for blue, but I think blue is a bit cold. And I want my picture to be quite warm. So by taking the ultramarine violet instead of the ultramarine blue, it's a touch of red in the violet, and it just makes it a bit more um, warmer. If anybody wants to ask anything or we'll make rude remarks, I'm quite happy. Go ahead. I want to kill it off a bit because if I leave it violet, uh, it will it will shout a bit. So I'm putting in a touch of guess what, burnt sienna, just to take the edge off the colour. That will do it. Right. Now then, what are these boats doing? Well, there's that one there. And we've got a friend there. And this friend's going along like that. Now, the mistake you can make. Um, is to uh, make them two light boats because uh, you know the boats. And if you do that, they look manufactured. Just a touch of a reflection there and here. And it's, what I did was to add a touch of green to the purple, just to give me that bit of reflection of the boat. I think I've probably not done it enough, but there we are. Right. Not a very good picture, is it? These boats are pretty visible. So, those two sort of run together. And at that end, more clearly defined by the dark, whatever it is down there. So that comes down like that. And that's like that. Now then, I'm 
need to put in a bit of something in the middle here to, to differentiate. These are still too bright. I'm happy with them at all. But if I can get them looking a bit more like boats to begin with, I might just like that. Round about here. Let's see if we can vary things a bit. We've got the side of this boat, so there's the boat just there. From this picture, you're not going to get them exact. Exact. You just want them to look vaguely boat-like. Um, back end, and there's a touch of dark in there. Hanging over the stern of this one. Oh. You need to do that much too strong. If you come up here and look at it afterwards, it won't look like boats at all. A series of marks um, and, and shapes. How interesting this is, but um, it's fascinating me. So, Where the hours go, of course. Right, now then. If you go back and you've forgotten what you were doing. Yeah. 
this isn't all flash hurry, you know, this uh, painting line. Come on. Dark was what I wanted. Which was obvious the point, wasn't it? It would be a long time spent on one little area, didn't it? Forever. And it's still too bright. It's still calling attention to itself. But what I can do right at the bitter end is put a, a wash over it. Very thin wash, just push it back. Um, depending on how I'm... Um, going for the time. No, it's dry. Dry if you if you're doing if you do it with either oils or watercolours, it has to be dry. Um, but acrylics dry so quickly. Yeah. So it'll it'll knock it back. Um No, it would probably be um, more purpley, actually, or maybe even green. If I do a, a thin, dark green over it, it'll just sink them back into the sink them into the water. <laughs> what a good idea! Not really; they're a pain in the neck. If I didn't need them in the composition. They'd have been out by now, I do assure you. It's not, um, it's not. Painful work, actually. And I'm a fairly splashy painter, so this is, this is me being very, very, very careful. So take note. It does happen sometimes.
A bit more boaty. Lost his end. I just put that in the gloom and pretend I can't see it. Uh, where are we? Dark side, I think. So this has to be shaped. One of the handy things about these boats is that the back end is in a diagonal that way. Takes your eye into the picture again. Just a little thing, but it does make a difference. Right, so they're vaguely boat shaped. And uh, that's as boat shaped as I want them to be. Gosh. You can see what what twitching involves. There's about another oh an hour and a half of twitching to be done, I think, in various places to um Just as a sort of rest. Just makes it a little bit less glaring. Should have done it in oils, I'd have been happier, you know. Taking out drawing lines there. Right. Now would I like to twitch next? I think I could take back that. Reflection a little bit more there. Yeah. It's about the same color, so um, add a bit more. If I'm trying to darken um, yellows or browny yellows, I tend to use purple rather than blue. If you use blue, what you get is a green, um, which is okay. Yeah, it's not wrong. It's just that I think uh, if if you use purple, it, it you tend to get a brown, which is a bit more to be. That is still a bit bright, but well, uh, let's live with it. Come on, paint. Come off the brush. Good job. Right. I might use some of that to put a bit of light under the trees. Um, I might decide that that's not going to work. Is a bit more shape, I think, to be. Well, that would help, wouldn't it? I use a bit of lighter green. Lighter green. Uh, in the same way, if I'm trying to lighten a green, I tend to use a yellow. 
rather than white. White kills kills the colour. It makes it a, a more dead colour. If you want something a bit more lively. Just trying to make that the edge of the bank, you know, it's... You know. Might take that up. Maybe. Give me the bank. I don't want to draw too much attention to it, but it, it just sort of finishes off the bank a bit, makes it look more like a bank. I want to move that to drawing. Right. Okay. Let's see what we've we got time. Are we? All right. Right. I'm going to have a go at this, knocking these further back. Now, the thing is, they're dry. So if I get it wrong, I just wipe it off. Let's see what that does. Purple? No, I think I'll use green. This is making a very wet, soupy mix. Comes off easier. They're there. It's a bit strong. So. There they are. Much better. Bingo. Uh, not entirely happy about this. This is still looks a bit crude. Um, I don't know if I've got time to do anything about it now. Now that I've ruined my dark green. I don't know what it is about it that I don't like, but I don't like something about it. I think what I don't like is the edge is too sharp. And wet, very wet paint will do that. So... Any better? No, not any better. I think that's a problem to solve another time. I'll leave it there, Rich. Hmm. Have a look and see what I think of it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. See how the, the, the books are there, but they are. Disappearing, they're not taking away from the focus of attention, which is the, is the pagoda. Um, and it is, it's, you know, if, you, if you're working on an area and you know it's going to be so much concentration, trying to get the right colour, oh dear, you can always do something about it afterwards when you're working in any medium, if it's dry, even in watercolour. If you want to knock it back, wait till it's dry, put a light wash off and don't work at it. The same idea um, as that. Okay. Not quite sure what's the matter with that water, but there's something the matter with it. I will sort it later. <laughs>